Hello friends, in today's video, we will talk about a very interesting recording software which is the uh, software named as Screencastomatic. Now one issue with FreeCam is that in the FreeCam, you cannot have the recording of your face. So if you want to have a recording where you want to show your screen also and you want to show your face also, then in that case, Screencastomatic comes very handy. So to start with it, we will simply type Screencastomatic on the browser and this is the link that we will have Screencastomatic.com. Just click on this. The very first thing that we need to do on the Screencastomatic is to sign up. The sign up is not mandatory but it is going to be very beneficial because the Screencastomatic is integrated with Google Classroom and Microsoft Teams and that we can do only if we sign up. So first what we'll do is we'll click on sign up and it would require our email and we'll type our email and then click on continue and uh, we'll get a mail from Screencastomatic and then our account uh, would be signed up and for uh, the future references we'll use this email ID. So the first step for Screencastomatic is make sure that you have signed up and you can either sign up and record your videos online but I prefer that we download the Screencastomatic so that we can even record our videos offline. So I'll go for start recording for free. Now when I click on this button, I am redirected to launch free recorder. When we click on this launch free recorder, it shows us loading, launching recorder. So the recorder is being launched. You can go to your downloads. So here you can see that download button is there. Just click on this download. And at the bottom you can see that this web launch record has started. So what we'll do is we'll simply click on this. And you can see that the downloading has started. It will take some time for the Screencastomatic to be downloaded to your device. So we'll just wait for this to be downloaded. It has started. So you can see that it has downloaded, you have got this square box and you have got this record option with you. Now here you have three options. You can either record the screen, you can make use of the webcam or you can make use of both the things. That is your screen and your image at one corner. Before starting with the recording, let us see few of its settings. At the bottom we have this computer audio. So right now it is muted but if you want that whatever is playing on your uh, device that is if any YouTube video is playing and you want to record the voice of that also then simply click on this and you can start with the recording but it is not applicable it is not available in the free version we will have to go for the upgrade and the upgrade is for like $15 for a year or something. Narration, this is this shows that my microphone is activated and you can see the green lines because I am uh, speaking and it is being recorded. Click on the size and through the size you can select whether you want to uh, record the active window wherever you are recording or you want to have it as the full screen. You can change the recording size by changing these things also. The maximum time. Uh, through which the recording is available is 15 minutes in the free version. So now let us see if you want to start with the screen recording, how you will have to do is, I have just selected the screen and I will click on this recording. So you can see that there is the countdown 3, 2, 1 and here there is this blue button at the bottom and the time is also going showing that the recording has started. Right, so you can see that the time is going and the recording has started. Now, if you want to stop the recording or pause the recording, the pause button is automatically present here. You just click on this button and the recording has been paused. I recorded for 23 seconds. So the recording has been stopped and when you want to resume the recording, you can again 
continue recording where we left off. So if I start the recording, you can see again the countdown started and it is starting from the same point. So like this, it's very simple to record in the screencast-o-matic with different pauses. Let me pause this and if you are through with your recording, you simply have to click on this done button and if you don't like the recording, you can delete it and we can start it over again. Let us click on this done button and when I click on the done button, you have these three options. You can either save and upload, you can go to quick share and you can edit the video also. But in the free version, we only have this option with us that is save and upload. I can neither share it nor I can edit the videos. So I will click on this save and upload and this is my video out here. So, it will ask me save as what? So, I will have to again click on save as video file and you can give it a file name and you can browse the folder where you want to record this recording. It is saved in the mp4 format and after do doing that, we have to click on this publish button. Let me show you other option. Let us go to back. You can also upload it to the screencastomatic.com. So that whatever video is available here, it would be visible to all the people who are using the Screencast-O-Matic. You can also upload it to the YouTube channel. So uh, you can also do that. I am just cancelling it for the time being. So this is the first thing. Now in the next thing we will see how we can record our face and how we can go for a combination of face recording and screen recording. Thank you so much. Now, let us see how we can go for a combination of face recording and screen recording or just our face recording. As we have downloaded the screen castomatic, so that would appear on our desktop. You can see out here, this is the screen castomatic icon. So, just click on this and we have these options with us. We can take the screenshot or we can start with the recording. That is our main purpose for this video. So we will click on this launch recorder and this you can see again the same things are here screen and which we already did and this is the webcam. So what happens in the webcam now my picture is there right. So my picture would be there you can change this you can have like both. So what is happening here my picture is there on a corner which I can put anywhere I want and then my whole screen recording would take place. So here also if I go to start recording then it goes 3, 2, 1 and let me show any screen. Let us type here uh, screen castomatic right so this is what I will show and this is the recording how it is taking place. And let me just end this recording. So I'll click on this and I'll click on done. Now when I click on, I have click on done, I need to uh, select the save and the upload button. Here again we have few options, right? We can save as video file which we have already seen. This is the another option. So if I upload it to Screencast-O-Matic, what will happen? Let me click this button, upload to Screencast-O-Matic. So it asks me what is the name that you want to give it. Let me Now we have changed the title. After changing the name, we need to click on publish. Now when I click on publish, then it is publishing to Screencast-O-Matic. But one thing has to be remembered is that when you open the Screencast-O-Matic in your browser, then you need to sign up. Because only when you have the account in the Screencast-O-Matic, you would be able to publish to Screencast-O-Matic. So first make sure that you sign up to Screencast-O-Matic. Now here there is one very very interesting feature that the Screencast-O-Matic is actually integrated with Google Classroom as well as with the Microsoft Teams. And the Facebook, Twitter handles are also available. Now what we have to do is if uh, what happens in our lecture series is that first we make a video then we either upload it on the drive or we upload it on the YouTube channel and then we share it with our students. Now here with Screencast-O-Matic there is no need of doing that 
what we can simply do is we have recorded our video using screencastomatic and we will integrate it with the google classroom so i will just click on this google classroom and a new page would open where the video would be automatically uploaded to my google classroom it would ask me share to classroom now which classroom you want to share it with so as soon as i click the drop down box it will show me the classes that i have created i can select any one of them right and i can choose the action whether you want to create the assignment using this video make an announcement or create a material let me click on this make an announcement and click on go so share with your class i'll uh, just write here watch this video and here you can see on the stream tab this video and the link of the screen castomatic has come so students can go and watch this video out here now the benefit is that you can take your live classes using google meet you can record your videos and those using screen castomatic and those videos can be actually uploaded on the google classroom and the students can use it for the future references also so this is one very good feature of screen castomatic that it is integrated with the uh, cms like google classroom and microsoft teams so when we have published it to screen castomatic let us go back to the screen castomatic on the browser we'll click on this and we need to sign up if you haven't signed up to screen castomatic yet do that first and when you have signed up your email id would appear here and uh, along with that you'll have my videos or you can also go to here you can update your profile or log out so let us go to my videos and here you can see that all the videos which i have published to the screen castomatic are visible here so it is like publishing your videos on the cloud so you can view these videos from anywhere from any device even if you don't have your laptop with you these videos are accessible to you from any of the devices so this is like the online recording of your content so it is up to you whether you want to upload it uh, to the cloud you want to make use of the online version or you want to use the offline version i hope you like the video and you would be using it for your lectures in the coming session thank you